Okay, welcome in everybody. I uh, want to take a minute today to talk about file management. Um, file management in the way that we run uh, Ableton is crucial because we update a lot of things in the cloud uh, and we need to be able to do that quickly and effectively and be able to keep track of well our, where all our files are coming from and going and having the latest updated versions and all that stuff for when we make changes. Um, so the best way that we have found to do this is using a combination of uh, Dropbox and, um, and um, quick uh, place references in Ableton. So I'm going to show you kind of how to set that up. Um, I am using an external hard drive to save space. Uh, my internal drive just filled up quickly, so I've got all our multi-tracks and stems on a sort of master hard drive. Um, and then I take those out of that hard drive and put them in this folder here, which I have uh, just on my Mac hard drive called Ableton Sets, which is then synced to Dropbox. Those green little uh, check marks mean that they are synced to Dropbox so that you know other campus MDs can get to them uh, and whatever. I also have this folder synced uh, as a, um, a hot swap um, option in Ableton. This is that same folder. You can set that up um, and, I'll, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, and so what I do is I take the ones, take the um, take the sets that I need out for a week and you know I'll select whichever ones I need um, and I'll drop them in uh, the folder that they need to go in. I'll start them in one folder and then I'll just copy that entire folder whenever I'm done edit, editing the sets for the week then I'll put them in the other, other folder. Um, so let's let's kind of do a do a basic uh, setup here. Um, what I'm going to do is in this Ableton Sets folder, which is on my hard drive, uh, not my external drive, but my internal hard drive. I'm going to create a new folder, just called Training. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's let's uh, let's not put it there because I want to show you how to put it in Ableton. So actually, on my uh, desktop. I'm just going to put a new folder called Ableton Training. And uh, let's just for kicks, let's say we're going to do uh, a few songs here. We'll put Oh Mighty Ones. And I'm going to option click. Okay, This allows me to not only move, but to copy. If you're not seeing that uh, little green circle with the plus button, then you are not copying your information. You're just moving it and then it's going to disappear from wherever you took it from. I prefer to copy and then when I put it back in, uh, you know, after I'm done with it the next week, then I'll go take this and I'll put it back in here. And if I've made any changes, uh, it will say, you know, an older item uh, is there with that same name. Do you want to replace it? And I'll tell it yes. If I've, you know, if I've made changes to the arrangement or changes to the Ableton set for the better, then, uh, then I'll just replace the original. But I don't. I always like to have that original. If something were to happen to this one and get corrupted, uh, in the meantime, I could go back and get it. So let's do Almighty Ones um, and Come Lord Jesus. Again, option, drag, and uh, glorious. Okay. I'm just randomly selecting these here. Okay, now you notice some of these have uh, are, look like Ableton project folders and some of them don't. It's just because some of them have been saved that way. Some of them uh, originally came from multi-tracks and they don't necessarily save that way. So um, it's, it's, as long as it's a project folder, you're fine. Um, okay, so now what I have here is this Ableton training folder with these three projects in it. But if I open up Ableton, um, I, I, don't, I don't have anything you know, I can, I could go here and I can open them, uh, you know, here, and I can get to them that way. But what we do on a Sunday is we've got to have them all laid out like this for, for quick access to be able to switch between songs. So obviously we don't, we don't want to be, um, you know, loading each file like I just did that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that folder to my places uh, quick reference um, section in Ableton. 
So I'm going to add folder here, and I'm going to select just this Ableton training folder. And then when I do that, then it shows up here, and boom. Um, and it's, it's the same files. It didn't copy anything. It's just referencing those original files. Um, and uh, so when you do that inside of a... Um, inside of a Dropbox folder, something that's synced up to Dropbox, like um, this Ableton Sets folder, then let's say, you know, in a, in a matter of just a few seconds, really, it would put those things in the cloud so that the other MDs uh, could, get, could get to them as well. Um, so once, I, once I've got those uh, referenced in here, then I can open them up and do what I need to do. Um, And uh, we'll get into, uh, you know, almighty ones and do our thing. <clears throat> um, so the key is, um, the key is to have these things um, uh, in the right place, know where they are, and then get them back to the right place when you're done. Um, you want to make sure, you know, when you're done, you don't just trash these, but you would put them back into in my case the external hard drive my multi tracks and sims folder I'll drag them all back in here and it'll say do you want to replace uh, and normally I would tell it yes today I haven't you know changed anything so I'm just going to tell it no um, but uh, that is the best method for file management in the way that we run Ableton Live keep it here so that you can get it to it quickly and then if you go week to week let's say um, you know for example it, it, my Ableton sets folder is just labeled you know Udawa Sunday it's not even a specific date and so I can just go into that Udawa Sunday folder it remains here in Ableton for me to visually reference but if I need to change something I can uh, change the songs inside it that folder and those changes will be reflected when I open up Ableton. So I don't have to do Udawa Sunday, August 7th, Udawa Sunday, August 14th, a separate folder for each week. I just do one Udawa Sunday folder, and whatever changes I make are reflected in that folder. So uh, this is not a very exciting subject. We didn't even hear any music, but it is very important in, uh, in making sure we have everything that we need and it is accessible to us quickly and simply. So um, that is file management for RPC inside of Ableton. Happy hunting.